Absolutely, hot dogs and hamburgers, everybody. It's July already, and just like during every other month of the year, that means they are releasing some new video games. Look, I have to write one of these every month, and the intros can't always be clever. Anyway, here are the biggest games coming out in July 2020. On July 2nd, the adorable physics-based biped comes to Nintendo Switch, previously released on PS4, where you and a pal walk around all stupid, pretending you're robots and solving puzzles. Speaking of walking around pretending you're a robot, on July 3rd, you can virtually cosplay as legendary robot cosplayer Tony Stark in Marvel's Iron Man, exclusively on PlayStation VR. And there's a free demo in case you're unsure about whether or not you are Iron Man. I am Iron Man. On July 4th, Castle Kong hits Nintendo Switch, paying a legal and royalty-free homage to the original Donkey Kong, much like the original Donkey Kong did to everyone's favorite nautical martial arts anime, Popeye. On July 7th, Catherine Full Body hits Nintendo Switch, letting you solve complex puzzles involving blocks, sheep, and infidelity. On July 9th, there are even more puzzles in futuristic sci-fi action RPG CrossCode, which is hitting Switch and PS4. July 10th is a doozy of a day when cult classic survival horror follow-up Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, blesses the Nintendo Switch with more wackadoo weirdness. Meanwhile, F1 2020 comes zooming onto PS4, PC, Xbox One, and Stadia, and I say zooming because it is a game about racing cars. In other news, Sword Art Online Alic Alicis Alicization Lycoris Lysaurus? Something like that. Hits PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and if they wanted me not to butcher the title, they could have called it literally anything else. On July 14th, Death Stranding comes to PC. This is Hideo Kojima's surreal open-world game, starring a man who's scared of touching anyone, but who must deliver packages to people stuck at home because the outside is plagued by invisible threats, which have left the United States a desolate and politically divided wasteland. This premise seemed completely ridiculous when the game came to PS4 last November, and now it seems all too real. Hopefully on PC, some Somebody mods Thomas the Tank Engine in there to cheer everyone up. On July 14th, Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town comes to Switch. That's the latest installment in the farming series formerly known as Harvest Moon. Also on the 14th is Neon Abyss, a run-and-gun action platformer coming to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch, as well as Rocket Arena, the 3v3 hero shooter where you can only use rockets. That's on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, but it has crossplay, so you kids in the comments can stop arguing about which platform is better and just shoot each other with bazookas instead. On the 16th, multiplayer 2D fighter Bounty Battle and fast-paced action arcade game Radical Rabbit Stew both come to PC, PS4, and Xbox One and Switch, and Hunting Simulator 2 comes to Steam. On July 17th, the open-world samurai action stealth game Ghosts of Tsushima from the creators of the infamous series arrives exclusively on PlayStation 4. Meanwhile, the latest Paper Mario entry, The Origami King, comes exclusively to Nintendo Switch, and anyone feeling left out on Xbox One or PC can play Drake Hollow, a colorful action-adventure game where a group of kids saves a door vegetable people from monsters, even though kids supposedly hate vegetables. Ha! On the 20th, single-player VR survival game Into the Radius comes to PC for use with all of the fancier virtual reality headsets, and on the 21st, the very silly physics-based destruction-focused Rock of Ages 3 Make or Break comes rolling onto basically everything, by which I mean PC, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and Stadia. On the 23rd, Rookie comes to PC. That's a dark fantasy adventure inspired by Scandinavian folklore, thus the umlaut over the O that I'm probably saying wrong. And on the 28th, the top to bottom remake of beloved cartoony alien invasion sandbox Destroy All Humans lands on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Also on the 28th is Grounded, the survival game about tiny people fighting relatively massive bugs and vermin in a backyard. That comes to PC and Xbox One. And then there's Skater XL, the skateboarding game with a misleading title that's actually about normal sized people riding regular sized skateboards. That's on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. If the base game of Neo 2 was too easy for you, well, wow, you sure are a badass. But also check out the Tengu's Disciple DLC, which is out on the 30th for PS4. Then on the 31st, cartoony tactical strategy destruction fest Castle Storm 2 arrives on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch, and Cat Quest and Cat Quest 2 Possum Pack come to PS4 and Switch. That is two games about cats that are sold as one. Oh, and a bunch of games are coming out in July at some point, but they don't currently have release dates. There's the PC release of Kill It With Fire, the first-person game about being stuck in a house full of spiders, no thank you, along with Made of Skur, the first-person spooky survival game about old-timey phantasms and spectacles. That's on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and was supposed to be out last month, but got pushed. Anywhere you can play Minecraft Dungeons, you can also play the Minecraft Dungeons Jungle Awakens DLC. Meanwhile, the PS4, Switch, and physical releases of Umehara Kawase Bazooka are coming out at some point, which is easily the most fun thing to say on this list. And finally, there's the PC release of What Happened, which is the title we've all probably said out loud many times this year for unrelated reasons.
Hoo-wee, there you go. That is all the big games coming out this month. I probably missed a few or screwed something up or said something's coming out that's actually been out for three months, but I'm not perfect. I'm just a disembodied voice talking over game trailers. Anyway, what are you playing this month? Which game on this list did you just find out existed? As always, thanks for watching. I'm sorry for all the jokes, and I promise I won't make any more jokes until three weeks from now when somebody reminds me I have to make another one of these videos for August. I will see you then. Yada, 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 something, something, IGN. Goodbye.